Hi everyone, it's Dr. Ann Cartini. I hope you all had a great day. Today's video is just a follow-up on my previous video where I discussed the diagnoses of my own uterine fibroid as well as endometriosis. In that previous video, I had explained that um, I had noticed signs of heavy bleeding and severe pain when I was in my 20s, but um, it wasn't until about three years ago when the gynecologist found via ultrasound a golf-sized fibroid in the back of my uterus towards my intestine. And then it was within the year that a different gynecologist found uh, casings around both ovaries, um, which indicate that I have endometriosis on both my ovaries, which makes sense because I had developed so many inflammatory diseases from my poor diet, um, such as uh, eczema, hypertension, prediabetes, irritable bowel syndrome, um, plaque psoriasis. So I, I am not surprised that I also developed this, um, the endometriosis and the fibroid. And um, so in that previous video, um, I did talk about treatment options such as pain management um, with medication, which unfortunately the pain is still very um, intense where I do take ibuprofen and Tylenol. Sometimes I have to switch them every three to four hours just so that I could focus on what I'm doing at work. Um, now I will reiterate that being on the plant-based diet for the past few years has helped me to see healing in our irritable bowel syndrome. I don't have that anymore. I don't have eczema. My high cholesterol, prediabetes, um, that has all been reversed. Um, uh, hypertension is no longer an issue. My blood pressure is is 100% normal. The only thing that I have noticed that I still struggle with, although it has significantly improved, is plaque psoriasis and of course um, the endometriosis and the uterine fibroid. And um, at I guess I would say recently, I was to the point where I became very desperate and I wanted to look into um, treatment options that would address it, the, the, the pain from the fibroid and the endometriosis with um, other options uh, than just food. Because anyway, so going back to the treatment options that I had discussed, um, one of them I focused on was the focused ultrasound because I wanted to find a procedure that was as minimally invasive as possible and with the ultrasound the, the focused ultrasound um, sound waves are projected towards the fibroid uh, and it heats up the the fibroid where it ultimately destroys the lesion and there are risks involved because um, there are other tissues that you know the doctor will want to make sure that um, those tissues like your bowels or your um, other organs don't get damaged in the process and so what I found was that um, this procedure does cost five thousand dollars and it doesn't include the workup such as the MRI that's required to find out if I am a candidate or not for this procedure and for the focused ultrasound, it doesn't address the endometriosis. It only focuses on the fibroid. Um, and then in terms of addressing the endometriosis, I was just planning on continuing my plant-based um, lifestyle and hoping to see that the inflammatory tissues would eventually go away. Um, worst case scenario, if I didn't see that improvement, then, then later on I would perhaps resort to surgery um, if if needed at that point. So this was on um, over a course of, of a few weeks where I was researching where this procedure was done. Um, I had already made an appointment with Stanford Medical Center for a 
a consultation with a physician, um, but I also still needed to have my primary uh, physician send me a referral to radiology so that I could get the MRI um, to forward to Stanford so that they could assess whether or not I would be a candidate for this focused ultrasound. And so interestingly enough, at that point I was very ready to go forward with this procedure um, until I got, um, I guess, a message from my friend Erica, whom I had met on Instagram. And we had become friends for multiple reasons. We both are on a plant-based lifestyle. We both had reversed multiple illnesses um, due to diet. Um, and she, she actually asked me if I would consider going on the raw vegan diet. And I guess I, the, the thought had crossed my mind in the past, but I had never really thought about it until she, I mean, really, really thought about, uh, about it until she um, brought it up to me. And I knew that Erica had um, this history of, you know, obviously these chronic illnesses that were reversed with diet, but I did not know the extent of her medical history until we spoke recently uh, via FaceTime. And it turns out that she, like I, grew up on a diet full of junk food and she was diagnosed with several diseases such as mine, um, you know, the like the irritable bowel syndrome, but she also was diagnosed with adrenal fatigue, multiple food allergies, um, mixed connective tissue disease, and lupus. She said that even the sun would cause her to blister on her skin. And what was amazing is that she said that she had adopted a raw vegan diet and was able to reverse everything that I had mentioned, including lupus. So at this point, I am amazed, um, so inspired that if Erica could reverse autoimmune disease such as lupus, why couldn't I reverse my own plaque psoriasis, which is also considered an autoimmune illness? Um, and then, you know, uh, with um, the body being able to regenerate new cells, I was convinced that I could see healing from fibroid and endometriosis. Um, I know Erica had mentioned a, a, a physician who had really helped to inspire her lifestyle of, of adopting this uh, vegan raw diet. Um, the name of the doctor is Dr. Brooke Goldner, who is a board certified physician. And she happens to, um, she's the founder of um, a website called goodbylupus.com. And she's written multiple books. I know she speaks at many conferences about the science um, regarding how your body can be healed from going on a very nutrient-rich raw food diet. I know she incorporates um, smoothies. So I looked into her um, her story, Dr. Goldner's, and I saw that you know she she was very sick at at you know, at a point and um, the progression of her body being healed was just so inspiring. So um, my goal has changed. I know I told you in my previous video that I'm so ready to go forward and make a change. And for me at that time meant going forward with uh, a more, I guess, surgical approach. Um, but now seeing more evidence and even documents or documentation of how other people were able to be healed from um, pox psoriasis from going on this raw food diet. It took a while. I think um, in one case I saw a year and a half, but regardless, it's, it's amazing where you could see the progression of the healing. And so um, I am inspired. I know my friend Erica, she credits the healing to both prayer 
the power of prayer as well as the healing in food um, because you know f food is such a blessing um, it you know it, I would just say and encourage everyone to um, do it the right way in terms of you know make sure you research the correct way to um, to eat make sure you get the enough nutrients and so that's something that I would like to document um, and if if any of you are struggling with these same or similar diseases or if you know someone who is I would love to hear from you please comment below if I can document these things and show you all the progression of um, my journey and it inspires you I will be so happy if you find any value in this video please like and subscribe to my channel because that will really help with the algorithm to get the word out I really want to inspire as many people as I can so thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you guys next time bye